Hello, it's Miss Mary from the Clarks Montgomery County Public Library here to bring you another night of bedtime stories. And this week, we're doing books on mittens and hats. So my first book tonight is called One Mitten, and it's by Christine O'Connell George. If you've got mittens, you might want to run and get your mittens where you can play with the mittens too. One mitten, yellow and bright, fits on my left hand or on my right. Can you put yours on your right and your left? One mitten can wave a mitten hello. Can you wave your mitten hello? There you go. Look at brother looking at his sister. One mitten can make a shadow show with the shadow shapes of a mitten whale. Can you see the whale? Look at him. That's what you can do with your mitten and turn on the lights. And a slow, slow mitten snail. But looks like he had to have a little help to get his little head right. He's so cute. Look at all you can do with a mitten. One mitten is a hat for a rooster's head. I don't think Mr. Rooster likes that very well. Or a very small mitten bag for a bed. He's put his rabbit to sleep. One mitten is a mitten flag. <gasps> Poor puppy dog. Hold still, Daisy. Wag, Daisy, wag. What has Daisy done? She has wagged the mitten right off of her tail. One mitten gives my sleepy cat a kitten soft one mitten pat. <gasps> Look how sweet he is. And under the cat, there's some yellow fuzz. <gasps> Can you see way down here? I'm seeing some yellow fuzz. Are you seeing that? My other mitten. So there's where it was. Look, she now has both of her. But look at the kitty cat. I don't think the kitty cat liked being woke up. Two mittens can clap. Can you clap your mittens together? Flap mitten wings. Can you make your wings all flap up and down? And make mittens ears. Put your ears up here. Oh, wow. You all are doing such a good job. Lots of two mitten things. Look at everything. I think she's playing hide and seek and she's clapping underneath her leg and she's standing on her hands. She can do so many things with her mittens. Two mittens windshield wipe the frosty glass. Get your mittens ready. Here we go. Swish, swish, swish. It's snowing outside, covering up the grass. Two mittens make binocular eyes. Get them up here. Can you see out them? Woo wee. Two mittens wave a mitten goodbye. Can you wave goodbye to your family there? Then one mitten, yellow and bright, holds my friend's hand warm and tight. Two friends with mittens were ready to go, skipping mitten warm into the snow. Oh, look, think they're going to build a snowman? We have to hope so. And that is <gasps> one mitten. There's so many things you can do with a mitten. Won't that be fun? Yeah. And I've got a wonderful hat book. And you know, Miss Mary just loves hats. So I brought me a hat to wear for my book. And I brought a big hat today. So here is my Miss Mary's marvelous hat. But my book is called Millie's marvelous hat. So let's see what Miss Millie does with her hat. Millie was walking home from school when she came across a hat shop. There were lots of hats in the window, but the one she liked best was the one with the colorful feathers. Millie went inside. She's my kind of girl. May I see the hat with the colorful feathers, please? She asked the man behind the counter. 
Certainly, madam, replied the man, and he fetched the hat from the window. Millie tried it on. It suited her perfectly. I'll take it, she said. An excellent choice, madam, said the man. That will be $599.99. Wow. Millie opened her purse and looked inside. Oh, dear, she said. Do you have anything a little cheaper? What sort of price were you thinking of, madam? Asked the man kindly. Well, about this much, said Millie, and showed him her purse. And it was empty. I see, muttered the man, and he looked up at the ceiling, and Millie looked up at the ceiling too. It was covered with interesting patterns. Aha, said the man suddenly. I think I have just the thing for you, madam. Wait here a moment, please. And away he went to the back of the shop. A few minutes later, he returned with a box in his hands. He placed it on a table and removed the lid. This is the most marvelous hat, madam, said the man. It can be any size, shape, or color you wish. All you have to do is imagine it. Carefully, the man took the hat out of the box and put it on Millie's head. It fit perfectly. Thank you, said Millie. I like it very much. She put her hand in her purse and handed the man all she had in it. Thank you, madam, said the man. Would you like your hat in this box? No, thank you, said Millie. I'll take it just as it is. Millie felt happy in her new hat, but now I must think what my hat is going to look like, she thought. <gasps> Perhaps it has lots of feathers, like the one in the shop, only even more feathers. Can you kind of think what that hat looks like? What does her feathers look like? Let's see. <gasps> it was a peacock hat. Look at how the beautiful feathers and all the blues and the greens. Millie stopped outside a cake shop and looked in the window. All those cakes looked delicious. So Millie had a cake house hat. Look how many cakes she's got piled on top of the hat. When Millie passed a flower shop, her hat became flowery. Look, she has a vase on top of her head and just full of beautiful flowers. That's her new hat for the day. And in the park, she wore a fountain hat. <gasps> Can you see it springing up all the water? Suddenly, Millie saw that she was not the only one with a special hat. <gasps> I see other people. I see a mom with a tea set on her hat and a car and a boat. What else can you see? Everyone had a hat of their own and they were all different. There's so many different things. Here's a putting green, a vacuum cleaner. I see a penguin, a dinosaur. Oh my goodness, such lovely hats. She saw an old lady who was wearing a dark, murky pond hat. Millie smiled at her, and the birds and the fish leaped out of Millie's hat and onto the old ladies. Millie felt like singing. And so did her hat. Oh, my goodness. Look at all the things and the notes that that hat was putting out. By the time Millie arrived back home, her hat had grown so tall that she couldn't walk through the door, so she thought of another hat. How do you like my new hat, she asked when she saw her mom and dad. New hat, said her mom, but you haven't, mm. then she stopped and smiled. It's a marvelous hat, Millie. I wished I had one too. But you do have one, said Millie. You only have to imagine it. And she was right. Everyone has their very own marvelous hat. Look at Dad's hat. I believe that's a big old penguin on top of his head. And his mom has more flowers. And she has all of her song. And she's got animals on top of her hat. 
And she even went to bed with a hat. And she's got all kinds of animals asleep on top of her hat. So that is Millie's marvelous hat. And just remember, you can have a hat of any design that you want. You just have to imagine it. So those were our books for tonight. They were so good, weren't they? So now take me a deep breath and raise up your little arms, stretch them up tall. Just keep on stretching. Good job. Now bring them right on back down and put them in your lap. Because now it's time for me to say good night and happy reading. And see you next week at Storytime.